SpaceX has accomplished the unthinkable. The leading rocket company in the world has taken a monumental step towards space exploration by successfully launching the Starship from the launch mount and soaring it through the skies. This technological breakthrough will be recorded as an incredible feat where futuristic rocket designs were brought to life to establish a new mode of transportation, space travel. And the most exciting part is that we are now on the brink of studying how to survive on other planets, which is the real purpose of our existence on Earth, to dominate and explore. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press that bell icon. Let's get started. Elon Musk's vast knowledge has given birth to a non-resilient spirit that will soon take over the planet, Mars. His company, SpaceX, has achieved a major milestone by successfully conducting a zero-ignition wet dress rehearsal on January 23rd of this year. Now they are getting ready to take the next step by igniting 33 Raptor engines and launching the Starship on a test flight that will last only a few minutes. Join us as we take a closer look at the small but significant step that SpaceX is taking to launch a fully stacked Starship into space. In the upcoming months, there will be plenty of exciting developments to keep an eye on, such as the dramatic rap insight that SpaceX is providing about the launch mount. So stay tuned. It's important to note that SpaceX has never launched a super heavy booster before and they are determined to lift the Starship into space with it. However, there is a problem that needs to be solved about how long the 33 Raptor engines will be able to run at full-scale operation duration. Let's address this question head on. The test flight will involve launching the fully stacked Starship a few miles above the Earth and then controlling it to fall back to Earth, possibly with a late suicide burn. But this scenario is unlikely to happen since the Starship will be closely monitored on the ground to prevent any potential disasters. Furthermore, the Starship is poised for a larger test, which could involve performing a three-quarter orbit and successfully re-entering with a late burn to simulate a hard surface landing. One step that SpaceX could take right away is to conduct a light test and set its sights on achieving success. But let's take a moment to ponder how Elon Musk believed that a vehicle could actually fly from space to Earth and land on the Moon or Mars amidst other celestial bodies. It is truly a magnificent feat developed by humans. Indeed, as Napoleon Hill famously said, anything that is conceived and believed can be made manifest among men. This is a powerful quote that Elon Musk often reflects upon. In one of his interviews, he stated that he didn't believe anything is impossible and that anyone can build any machine with the power of technology. Elon Musk firmly believes in pushing the boundaries of what is possible, and failure doesn't discourage him. The Starship has already completed a successful wet dress rehearsal, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for Elon Musk and his fans in 2023. Of course, there may be some anxiety about the success of the upcoming space flight that SpaceX will conduct with the Starship. There's always a possibility that it may blow up during the static fire test, but we must remain optimistic and hope for the best. That's why Elon Musk shared his thoughts in a tweet stating that he plans to attempt a launch in March. The upcoming missions to the moon are crucial for both SpaceX and NASA, but success is far from guaranteed. In the fourth mission, which involves the Gateway in orbit around the moon, astronauts will be transported to and from the moon using the Starship. Although SpaceX has had several successful deployments, the Starship's success in this mission is still being determined. Elon Musk has acknowledged the risk and stated that he doesn't believe the first launch will be successful. Despite the uncertainty, SpaceX will continue with the test flights, and they have already prepared another prototype. Starship 27 for further testing. The company's previous success with the Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy give NASA confidence that SpaceX can eventually land their astronauts on the moon. But Musk's approach to failure differs, and setbacks do not deter him. He knows that failure is sometimes a necessary step towards success, and he is willing to take risks to achieve his vision of colonizing Mars. While SpaceX is a leading player in the space industry, Areas within the market still need to be explored. Dr. Namrata Gazrami, a space policy expert, believes that other niche markets have the potential to attract millions of dollars in investments. She notes that because a company isn't focused on rockets doesn't mean they're not on the right track. Several private companies and research groups that receive government funding are working on various scientific projects that SpaceX has yet to show interest in. 
These projects include developing liquid mirror space telescopes, test moon rovers, and spaceships controlled by artificial intelligence. Axiom, another space exploration company, is currently focused on developing the world's first commercial space station and conducting research on stem cell treatment for cancer in low Earth orbit. Axiom plans to launch the first section of its space station into orbit in 2025. According to experts, not all space startups or ideas will succeed and face more challenges than they would prefer. Even SpaceX experienced multiple launch failures in its early days while trying to perfect reusable rockets. The question remains whether SpaceX's success will aid or obstruct startup companies in the industry. However, space startups have to be innovative to thrive, and their accomplishments may result in the creation of other relevant technologies. Interestingly, Bill Gates did not appear to support Elon Musk's project, stating that he would rather pay for vaccines than travel to Mars. In a BBC interview, Gates argued that it is quite expensive to go to Mars and that one can purchase measles vaccines and save lives for $1,000 per life saved. Nevertheless, Bill Gates did not dismiss the idea of Elon Musk's Neuralink. As a co-founder of Microsoft, he believes that artificial intelligence will significantly transform humanity. He said it would help us to look into medical and scientific questions. It's not just a robot. It's also helping to read and write. In fact, there's been more progress than on the robotic side. Both of them will give us a much higher productivity with several headways in sophisticated technology that help make our lives easier. Elon Musk can be described as the father of technology in our time. Thanks for watching this video and learning more about the future of space exploration with SpaceX and their upcoming Starship mission. We hope you found this information interesting and informative. If you want to stay up to date with the latest news and developments in the world of space exploration, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to be alerted when we post new videos. And as always, feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts and opinions on SpaceX and the Starship mission. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.